There's a way, the broad. <laughs> Not necessarily, it's a plan. Also, I just want you to think about this. Every time you go to bed, yeah, what's the last thing that you do? You check Instagram and then Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and then say, okay, my night is done. How you doing? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going for a very interesting event. Uh, this is an event held by Janet Mbugwa and Julie Gishuri. It's called our Girlfriends Talk. So I'm heading to Village Market. See you there in a few. I'm late. Actually, I'm late. So I'm trying to rush. I hope I make it on time. It's starting at 2 and it's already, it's already 1.26. I don't know how long it's going to take me. I just hope there's no bad traffic over there. My country is so beautiful. Just look at how green it is. This place is really beautiful. Very green. Actually, they say Nairobi is the city under the sun. Is it the city under the sun? Under the sun or is it place of cool waters? Or it means both? Guys, does Nairobi mean place of cool waters? Uh, city under the sun? Or is it both of them because I think I've had both in reference to Nairobi but I think Nairobi is a Maasai word to mean a place of cool waters I guess so okay I'm running so late I don't like getting late I always like doing my stuff on time and I like to get to places on time but sometimes th these things happen you know so, um, hmm. I just hope the traffic won't be as bad. I had a lot of errands to do this morning, so I'm trying to get there. I think I'll be like, I'll be late by about 10 to 20 minutes, but that's fine. Not too late though. African timing. Finally, at the village market. Two minutes past two, not bad, so I'm actually earlier than I thought. here and I'm excited to meet this girl. We've been Facebook friends for so long. <laughs> we've been Facebook friends for so long but like we always talk as if we've met before. <laughs> no, we've never met. met. <laughs> yeah so we finally met so I'm so excited about this. By the way I'm not late as I thought so the event apparently the event has not started. African timing I told you I was late by about two minutes or seven minutes but not late at all. So many beautiful girls in here. So many beautiful ladies in here. <laughs> Most people look at social media platforms as selling points. Yeah, so you have a job, so you must put your best foot forward. That's what uh, social media is about. And also, I just want you to think about this. Every time you go to bed, yeah, what's the last thing that you do? You check Instagram and then Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and then say, okay, my night is done. Yeah? 
But do you think about picking up the phone and calling someone without just reaching out to them on these social media platforms? Just imagine a time when all these social media platforms could be shut down, yeah? Who are you going to be left with? Count your friends in a moment when all these social media platforms have been shut down, yeah? And start to ask yourself, did I check on my friends? Did I check on my parents? Did I check on my brothers, my siblings, you know? All of them. Give it like a 360 degrees mind thought and then determine if social media is more important than your physical connection or your physical interactions with different people. Yes, these social media platforms are there to help us, you know, uh, boot up, let's put your feet forward, but then it doesn't mean that you withdraw from society. It, it, it absolutely doesn't mean that. And just because people use filters and things like that doesn't mean really that you should feel the pressure to lighten your skin tone to, um, okay, my skin tone. <laughs> uh, but I just want to say this, and, and, and know that I'm defending the my skin people. They also get these stereotypes, yeah? I've been in workspaces where people are telling me, oh, you know, uh, she's that light skin girl, probably doesn't have anything going on in her head, yeah? And a lot of light skin people do go through that. If you go through that, I'm sure you can, you can, you can associate, yeah? So it's not just the darker people who go through these things. But I just want to say something. If you trust in your gut that you're good at something, do it. Your color will not matter. If you're good at something, you're just good at it. Yeah, so whatever it is, whether it's on social media or it's in your workspace, if you're good at something, it will be hard for you to prove yourself. But trust me, when you finally do that, nobody is even going to step on you and say, you know what, that dark skin girl. No, that's not going to be the first thing they say. It's going to be your name and then what you can do. You know like when they're saying, oh, so who should be sent for this and that and that? Usually they, you know, when you're just starting, they'll probably say, oh, that dark skin girl, oh, that dark skin girl. But then when you make it, it always zeroes down to she's good at it, yeah? And so think about that. Never really, for me, I look at all these factors as, as stepping stones. Of course we talked about bras and calves and everything girlfriends. Her back here at her navel. 
some of you right now if I check <laughs> are having that dilemma. We always come and try. What we want you to know is what a perfectly fitting bra feels like and looks like. So that subsequently, wherever else you go, you know what you're looking for. In terms of the coverage and over here the band, how it's going to be the support and also the lift is easier. Because when you wear the right band, like now here you're 28, currently you're wearing 34. 34. So those are 4 inches. Yes, those are six inches extra. So here, you can imagine if your back was my size, eh, you'd have serious problems with your back. Yeah, because since eighty percent of the support is coming from here, by wearing a thirty-four when you're at twenty-eight, you've compromised on the support. So now it transfers the weight to your straps, which then gives you that pain over here at the back. That's why for me, I can't even dare try. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. So, cause here you're small, yeah. Your bust is slightly bigger, yeah. So, like I said, because most people don't have those sizes, they now cross size and tell you, yes, something. But you come and you try. Yes. There's nobody with a success story that hasn't gone through hardship. There's nobody who has had it easy or on a silver platter. And then they tell you, oh, you know, this is how I started. And then from this, I went to this. And in a matter of 12 months, I was at the top. Nobody's going to tell you that. Everybody goes through obstacles. It's just how much patience you have or how much determination you have to see yourself uh, through all these obstacles. I mean, if I tell you my story, <laughs> like from when I was born, you would actually just say, OK, you know what? All right, OK. Um, but that's what I'm saying. We all go through stuff. Even the people who have money go through stuff. So don't think that money is the answer to everything. It's not. So when you see people online doing all manner of things, you know, showing off the lavish lifestyle, don't get pressured. They also go through stuff. So be very careful what you tell your mind. Um, there was a YouTube video where this man was saying, mind your mind.